A really common question that we get from first home buyers and property investors is how much does a credit card affect my ability to borrow on a mortgage? In this video, I'm going to teach you the formula for calculating exactly how much that limit affects your ability to borrow. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube, please click subscribe below. All the ad revenue that we generate from these videos goes 100% to local New Zealand charities. So just watching the video helps out these worthwhile causes. Okay, so how much does a credit card affect your ability to borrow? One of the first things you need to know is the difference between a balance and a limit. You might have a limit of $10,000 and be able to borrow up to that amount but you may never have spent more than $1,000 on your credit card. Unfortunately, when you're applying for a mortgage, the bank has to assume the worst case scenario. And that would be you blowing out that credit card or maxing it out to its limit. Most credit cards require a payment of 3% per month. So a $10,000 limit means $300 per month from your income. Now you might say that you are on an interest free or a 0% interest credit card. The bank again has to assume the worst case scenario. A lot of people jump from year to year around those interest free credit cards, but eventually they run out of credit cards to go to and they have to start paying that amount down. So the bank has to assume you are paying the full payment on your limit. So how much does that $10,000 limit affect how much you can borrow? So, well, it turns out that $300 can be used to borrow up to $43,000. In other words, a credit card limit stops you from borrowing 4.3 times the amount of mortgage. If you've got a $20,000 credit card, that will reduce your borrowing by $86,000. Now you don't have to cancel all of your credit cards. But if you are facing an income hurdle, and we talk about income hurdles a lot, but if you are facing an income hurdle where you don't earn enough to borrow what you want, then reducing your credit card limit can really help this. If you have a $10,000 credit card limit and you've never gone over $1,000, reduce it down to $1,000. You'll be able to borrow so much more to buy your first home or your next investment property. Thanks for watching. Comment below and let me know if you've cut up your credit card or reduced your credit card limit. I'm always keen to know about people who have successfully borrowed using this strategy.